All right, we have an uh, hour and 15 minutes. Thank you for coming to this session. The name on the door and the name on the schedule is Magical Mainstream. I'm Jerry Justin. I'm going to be the moderator. You're the panel. No, I saw this right. And I'd like to introduce my compadre, uh, who used to be the best friend I ever had until he became a criminal crossing the border. In Mexico? <laughs> yeah. I have no problem getting Please make welcome Tim Crawford. It was very interesting to find out uh, that we had this panel. Uh, they sent out the schedule to everybody, and both Tim and I read the schedule and got to the point where it said uh, Jerry Justin and Tim Crawford, and neither of us knew anything about it. And so Tim contacted the office, and they apologized and said, but will you do it? <laughs> I wrote back, and I said, if you can find me a better panel member. And they couldn't. And they couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, magical mainstream. Uh the term, I think that, uh, I don't know what you all are looking for, but just using mainstream to make the dances interesting and different than, than doing a pattern that you've all done in all your life. And so I'm going to turn the mic over to Tim. Uh, a little later in the day, we're going to get some score dancers up here to, to show you some of the things. And, uh, um, I was talking to a new caller in the hall, and he reminded me, he's been at a couple of my caller schools, and uh, nothing changes overnight. Yes, and we're recording this session, so any comments from the floor, we need to have you come and get the wireless mic, okay? We are recording this session. We are, we are, we are, are, are uh, but, yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Okay, I fixed it. Thank you. Magical. So I'm going to let Tim take off. I may jump in a little bit with him, uh, and uh, then we're going to continue on to some things I think you're going to find interesting. You can hear me with this better? Good. So um, <clears throat> I'm just going to do a little talking, but uh, I think uh, our goal here is to get a square up and show you some practical examples of some things. Jerry will take the lead on that because uh, by his own admission, he's remarkably better at that than I am. So... We'll, uh, we'll get a square up, but I just want to talk a, a little bit first about the entire approach that you should take to, uh, if you want to call this magical, magical mushrooms, mainstreams. So uh, the mainstream program is populated, first off, uh, by, I think, the most recreationally motivated people that we have in the activity. So when you start thinking about uh, making a dance a little more interesting for them or sexing it up a little bit uh, with choreography, you, you must remember that they are recreationally motivated and it's likely that these people are not going to share your enthusiasm for choreography. Likely. As a matter of fact, I would think that the lion's share of those mainstream dancers, unless they are seasoned long-term mainstream dancers, uh, generally are uninterested in choreography like we, we generally are interested in choreography. So when we apply or when we try to bring things into the, the dance that is outside of their comfort zone, the, the first thing you're going to recognize is that you're going to get a pushback from the dancers almost immediately. And, and you might even have people come up to, the, come up to you at the end of a, a given tip and ask you why you're doing that. What they're actually asking is, why are you bothering us? <laughs> and and it's, it is because they're there for a different reason. That, and our, our focus as callers... Uh, one of the ways that we think it, the, the most interesting way or uh, one of the things that we do to make dancing more interesting is to apply choreographic differences for, for these dancers, and they're not always into that. So in a lot of cases, uh, what makes ma mainstream more magical sometimes is not related to choreography. And there are a whole bunch of other things that you could be thinking about that make mainstream magical as opposed to just choreography. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get my glasses on here. Uh, 
the other thing that tends to occur in a lot of cases that I've seen, and it happens to me quite a bit too, because uh, we get wrapped up in what we're doing. We forget about what the dancers are doing and uh, we, we kind of dump on them a little bit and they end up coming back to us in a negative way. And we sometimes forget that what's different for us is difficult for them. And it's just, it's, recognizing that there's a difference between the degree of difficulty and and just different types of dancing. For example, uh, from a standard wave, uh, most callers will call a swing through and a boys run and a Ferris wheel and a pass through. That's a sequence that occurs all the time. A swing through, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and then another swing through and then I have, have a boy run so the boy's running into the middle is not specifically difficult for us as a caller. It is difficult for them for us, we, we as a caller think that's different, but because we've we spend so much time putting calls together in a string that dancers tend to dance by root rather than actually knowing each component of it, we forget that it becomes difficult for them when we break up that routine. So recognizing again that the difference between how our approach to choreography might seem different is probably going to be construed as being difficult for them. And being sensitive to that is going to make a lot of difference. We'll show you some things Hopefully, we'll show you some things that, in fact, will uh, make the dance different and not that are not difficult for dancers. And one of the other things to, to do is you've got to plan these things out. So if you're going to introduce a sequence that's going to break up a string like that, you want to take time to understand what it, what it is or what the body flow, what the component is, is that's going to help them break up that string so that they don't just not do what you want them to do. You move into these things slowly. Like Jerry just said, nothing changes immediately. So you can't expect a mainstream dancer to break up that string and be able to do a boy running into the middle of the, the wave uh, right away. You have to work on those things. You have to make them understand that there are centers, there are ends. You, you have to go through that a bunch of times before you can achieve whatever that end goal is that you have. And that end goal, you must know what that is before you even try. At a mainstream dance, trying to apply different choreographies at a dance on the fly is incredibly different, difficult uh, because it makes it even more difficult for the dancer because you don't know what's coming, so there's no way that they could know what's coming. That's an understatement. Yeah. So, so if you, if you uh, are intending on, on working on a situation where you're going to have the boys running to the center from the end of a wave, it still puts them in a, in a regular couple, which they are comfortable with, but they are out of their comfort zone because they're heading the other direction now. So if you get them out of their comfort zone successfully, it would be my recommend recommendation that you get them back into their comfort zone as fast as possible. So if you did the boy run where he goes in the middle, you got standard couples, but the boys are in the middle and they're all heading the wrong way. A circulate, a couple circulate probably works, but a bend the line right after that normalizes the setup almost immediately. If you went any further, uh, keeping them out of their comfort zone, you just increase the deg degree of difficulty to the point where you can't go. No, I said circulate and then bend the line. I'll, t I'll tell you when you can talk. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can talk anytime you want. I'm sure the people will enjoy hearing from you. So I guess what I'm talking about there is, uh, is it's not... It's, it's, a, it's a whole planning process. You don't just go into a mainstream hall and just decide to apply choreography without taking time to consider the mechanics of it and also your technique to execute whatever it is that you are intending to do. All the while recognizing that choreography is probably not what they're at this dance for. So you have to really plan what it is that you were trying to get them to achieve. Over to Jerry. And... Basically, he said it, everything really pretty good. Uh, if you, you've got to know what's going to be hard about what you call something different, and you've got to know what's going to be easy, and you've got to know how to lead them into to the, the move. If, if, if I go into a place and I call head square through and I say swing through and I stop and the boys run and they do a Ferris wheel and pass through, I know I'm in for a long a long start, you know, because they're, they're used to just doing the same things. And so I've got to get them listen to, to, listening to me now. 
and 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 so but i don't want to kill them with it but i don't want to make it too easy with them i want i want them to be able to do the moves what tim said about once you get them out of their comfort zone get them back in as soon as you can now comfort zone in most cases is normal couples normal couples and if you're going to do something that's not really in their comfort zone, have them per- somewhere close to their corner so even if they don't do it, when you say Alan and left, they get happy again. If you don't know where the dancers are and you're calling something that's out of their comfort zone and you break down, you have to call four, four calls, five calls to get them back to their corner, then you did it wrong. Once they get in, once you get them, when they get listening to you, then you can take it away a little bit. And I don't even take it away too far then. So that's the hard thing right there is that you've got to know where your dancers are when you're going to do that stuff. You got to know where, where the dancers are. You got to, and so we start off with something that's, that's really easy, but that they know. Uh, and can I get a square up here now? And we'll switch the square out so you don't get tired, please. Oh, but oh, not, not you, sir. No, you're well, you, come on, Doug. It's all right. Sorry. Watch your head on that. And the other thing that Tim says is, is don't, you don't call this on the fly. You already have this planned as to what you're going to do. Good. Okay. So who are the heads? We are. Okay. Just, and, and, and. I want to make sure they know that because I use heads and sides other than in the squared up position. And so, I, and you know if they're a boy or a girl, so that should be in a problem because they're all boys and girls here. Okay. So we're going to start off with something that everybody does, but I'm going to change it up just to touch immediately. But they, they aren't going to miss it. And I've already made it a little magical. Walk around your corner. Men star left. Girls stay there. Reverse your star. How many times do you call that anymore? Pick up your partner, star promenade. They're winning right now. They're not normal. Girls, backtrack. Go the other way, girls. I'm giving them some extra commands to make sure they're listening. Look for your corner. Alaman left your corner. And why is that magical already? Promenade home or just stay there. Why is that magical, that little sequence? It's a little different, but, but what, was, what was really, now we're going to delve into the so you understand why it was really different. The girls could not see their corner until they got around the boys. They could not see it. That was a fabulous thing, and it made them feel good because they weren't sure. They knew who they were. They couldn't see them in that setup, and that's really good. Now, I'm not going to do this all in sequence because we only got an hour. But uh, So now I'm gonna, I've, got the, I've gained their confidence now, and they're listening to me a little bit. So I'm starting maybe the second or third tip, and they've yellow rocked the corner and whatever, and they know what's going on. Okay. Everybody, think left shoulders now with your corners, seesaw. You're looking at your partner, nose to nose. Heads touch a quarter, sides swing through, head boys run. Now, tell me that isn't different. And I had to do extra helping words, and I'm going to have to do that if I'm going to use that anymore. And, but I already know where I am now. I don't need to think about anything else. We, in mainstream, we can only call extend from a quarter tag position. So, And after the run and everything, watch the body flow on it when we do it again. Uh, extend. Swing through. Who are you dancing with, Andy? Boys run. <laughs> Ferris wheel. Center sweep a quarter. Okay, so we're home. So let's, let's do it again and watch, watch the setup on the continuation. Think left shoulders with your corner, seesaw. You'll be looking at your partner. Sides swing through. Heads touch a quarter. Head boys run. Extend. Nice, smooth flow. It's into the move. And, and we're basically swing through. Boys run. Ferris wheel. Center sweep a quarter. All right. So to me, being magical is, is still not being hard position dancing. I want them to, I'm already testing them because I'm using flow on a counterclockwise motion more than most callers. That's, that's, that's what Tim said there. That's tough. 
because they're used to going the other way. Anything they can't do is not because they can't do it. It's because they haven't done it. That's the reason. And we've got to understand that when we're going to do something magical, we're going to have to help them to do it. We, we have to be aware of it. So heads. Uh, go ahead, Tim. Just to add <clears throat> what we were talking about before, uh, the seesaw with the, with the corner is not something that they do a lot because almost 99% of we callers will start by walk around your corner, seesaw your partner. So if you want them to seesaw your corner, you already know that that's something that's out of the ordinary for them. So by turning to face the corner and talking like Jerry did saying your left shoulder and do a seesaw, I do that a couple of times, three, four, five times and come back to the partner and star through California twirl or, you know, turn through whatever. But I do that two or three times. I'd also work on the same thing where, the, when you come back to meet your partner, the heads touch a quarter and the sides, they, Jerry called swing through. But at 99% of mainstream dancers, a swing through never starts from a facing couple. It always starts from a do-si-do, step to a wave, and swing through. So that's another point that would be a little harder for them because the step to an ocean wave and swing through is not something that they do immediately. So if, if you know that those are two points that are going to be a little trickier, then you take some time by having that, you know, that get into a box one four and then having calling a, a, a swing through without doing a do to do beforehand. And it increases their chances to be able to get that sequence without any problem. Right. In other words, what he's saying is you can't call, call this stuff cold. You got to build up into it to, to, so you can get success. So let's, let's do this here. I, I'm, I'm still working down the dance a little later and I'm d- you're doing the same things. Walk around your corner back. Oh, we're really in the cumber zone now. Seesaw your corner, a partner back to your corner. Alamen right. Boys, look for your partner, courtesy Turner at home. Now, I'm going to tell you that we call Alamin left after that, and there's nothing really wrong with it, but Alamin right is way better because we're alternating shoulders and hands. And, and, and looking for their corner after that Alamin left is something really different, and, they, and, and they, they, they can do it. They'll do it. They may get a little lost. You may have to wait for somebody to catch up, but that's different. We still haven't done anything. We haven't done anything uh, that, that they can't do and enjoy. So I've, I've gaining their trust all the time when I'm doing this. Uh, heads, square three, four. Please. <laughs> Reverse flutter wheel. Okay. Now, what, now I, I would say that before you ever did that, you need to know two things. There's two things that happened there. What was hard? Tell me what was hard about that call, that reverse flutter wheel. No, no. Tell me what was what was hard. No, not facing couples. You're close. You're close. Tell me what was easy about it. Let's start that way. Because I want you to think. Heads go home for a minute. That you're getting close. You're getting close now. The sides were standing still. They had a choice. That's hard. The heads had no choice. They had the left hand available, and they're going to do it because they're already moving, and that's the hand that's available for them. So I know that I've got part of this is hard, part of it's easy, and I understand that, and I may have to help them the first time. Side, square three, four. Everybody. Reverse flutter wheel. Boys, I, and I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Should be the other, it should have been a, re, a flutter wheel. Should have been a flutter wheel. I'm sorry. Yes, they went left hand, left hand. That was my fault. I'm sorry. Can we erase that? I think so. No. No. I, okay, I, and I, I started it from a different position than I would normally do it. Centers do a partner trade. Square through three. Reverse flutter wheel. Boys, go. And and so many times we do Ferris wheel center square through three. And and now what hand is available? The left hand. And we do a right handed move. Or we do something that starts with a right shoulder. That's, that's, they'll do it, but it's not comfortable. You also recognize that the, the, the lady's position of that is extremely difficult for the couple that is in the middle that they're moving. So she has to actually stop while the boys go in and do their bit. So that, that girl that's in motion, it's difficult for her to stop, especially at a mainstream level, because they just move. Pass to the center. Centers, left square through three. Left, right, 
left. Flutter wheel. Go, girls. So it's an easy change, and, and it, it's like I say, it may not even look smooth to start with, but the body flow is there. They're going to fight you with body flow sometimes because they do what they're used to doing. So in order, in order of those two, of those two sequences, I would opt for the centers to do a, a less square through three followed by the flutter wheel. Is that right? No, the other way, the square through three and the flutter wheel because that's something that they're very used to is that, that standard couple flutter wheel. Even though that person has to stop, your success ratio is going to be way higher because it's something that they're used to doing. And then moving to the left square through and the, left, and the reverse flutter wheel uh, will have them in that mindset that it's the same general geographical location in the square. It's just, it's just a reverse flutter wheel. Put centers in. We, <laughs> we need to realize that we, we use centers in after double pass through, and that's it. And so I know that. So I know there's going to be problems to start with. There's going to be problems. Because the centers really don't know their centers. And when they do figure it out, they've already went to the other side. <laughs> but so I would be working that where they're already with their corner. So if we had a problem now, we're going to get out of it right away. Centers run. Everybody, box the net. Slide through. I, unfortunately, I don't have that right now, but that would be what I'd get back into normal immediately as soon as I can. So let's do it this way. Pass to the center. Centers pass through. Put centers in. Why was that nice? Okay, Tim, answer. Because the outsides were trading. And that they, their natural body flow takes them apart from each other. So they were moving, and it was, it was nice to go apart. The centers were also closer together and, and, and realized they were centers because they had to do a pass-through and a trade-by. Right. Cast off three-quarters. Ends run. Now, just using ends and centers from these positions is different for them. But now look at this. We're right back to normal again. It feels so good, and we can go ahead and call stuff that we've done before. Right or left through. Pass through. Wheel and deal. Centers wheel around. Put centers in. Cast off three quarters. Ends run. And a right or left through. The whole sequence has people moving smoothly and, and availability with the handholds on it. All right. Pass the ocean. Boys run. Boys trade. Wheel around. Girls trade. Or chain down the line. Go ahead, chain down the line. This is what I want. I didn't want to overflow that. <laughs> so we're back to that position. Okay. <clears throat> Losing my train of thought here. Not surprising. Not surprising. Thank you. So if you want to make it a little magical again, let's pass through, wheel and deal. Center, square three, three. Reverse flutter wheel. Sweep a quarter. Dixie style to a wave. All eight circulate. Now, I'm going to, I'm, while I did all eight circulate, why is it easier to do an all eight circulate from... A left-handed wave. How many know why? Nobody knows why. Centers are going in a clockwise motion. The first time we most of us teach all eight circulate, boys run, do that, bend the line, roll him away. <laughs> and the girls usually like that, and you have to say gentle girls is because we do this, pass the ocean, and we teach an all eight circulate, and guess what? The girls are in a left-hand box. On the outside, you have no problem because you've got no choice where to go. These girls have a choice of where to go, and, and so now I realize that the two girls looking out are probably the ones that are going to go the wrong way. But we teach it this way, We're, and, and, and we don't know why they can't do it. It's because the girls are in a left-handed box in the middle, all eight circulate. Girls run. Tag the line. Out. Okay, I'm taking somebody out of their comfort zone really now. All right? Because we, we, we 
First of all, we faced out to one couple's normal on each line, one couple's not normal. Wheel and deal. The not normal people are in the middle. Square through three. You're looking at the same sex. I probably would have not said square through three from a half sachet position. I would have said pass through. You're looking at the same sex. Now, um, I, I, I know what I was thinking, and I, I'm doing it backwards. Touch a quarter. Centers trade. Boys run. I'll do it the, the correct way now. Uh, pass the ocean, because I was in the other thing. Swing through. Boys run. Tag the line. Out. Now, I, and that, this is the one I want. Wheel and deal. Centers are normal, and I'll say that. Some of them are out of their comfort zone. Now I can have the center square through three, is which I would have called. Now you're looking for a same sex. Pass through. Trade by. Whoa, that's easy because the ones in the middle weren't normal, but they could pass through without any problem. You're looking at a same sex again. I'm going to take them right out of their comfort zone now. Touch a quarter. Centers trade. Boys run. Now we're back in our comfort zone again. But we moved them around some, a way differently than what they would normally do at that point. Anytime you have a question, come up here and talk to and get the mic. Okay? Pass through. Now, how many times did the boys run from here? Not very, not many, not very many times you're going to do it. Boys run. But it's not bad because this is our normal scoot back position, isn't it? So it's not bad to do that. Scoot back. Centers trade. Now, you know that's going to be tough immediately. I know that's going to be tough because they don't usually do that after a, a scoot back. They got to look for that wave to do it. Swing through or same sex is trade and, the, the, and center's trade. So you, you're working with them again. Boys run. Guess what? We're back in this normal position again, and they feel good. Do you feel good? Good. You could be more enthusiastic, Andy. All right. Uh, so, uh, go home. In your square, please. <laughs> so, in a singing call or, or anything like that that's, that's a little bit different, we call four ladies promenade in the middle. You agree. So, to change it up a little bit, four girls circle left in the middle. Come back and swing your partner. Be gentle. Don't wreck your legs. But look at the, where they, the girls could see them in that circle, but that was different. And, and it doesn't always have to be this, that way. Four boys circle right in the middle. Come back and swing your partner. Don't do it, but just sort of square up there, okay? So two little easy variations. All right, do you know who you are? <laughs> number one boys and number th- or side girls and head boys promenade in the middle. The others clap your hands. Come back and swing your partner. The others aren't clapping, but uh, you come back and swing your partner. Now, let me tell you. They didn't do it. What did what they do? <laughs> Whether or not, even if they had heard me and they had done the right people, a lot of times they jump in the middle as a couple and promenade around. And yet we, we've done ladies promenade, all four ladies promenade, four men promenade in the middle. Why can't we do head girls and side boys? There isn't a problem with that. And it's pandemonium in a lot of squares. But guess, but guess what? They're going back to the girl they left and they swung them and now we're back, in where our, our, we're back to normal again at that point. Side girls and head boys promenade in the middle. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't call that last time. So that's an, a nice, easy little change. Now, if you're going to use separates, um, we usually do pass through and separate. Do you agree? Okay. Heads. And I'm going to have to help with this. Separate. Go around one, make a line. Guess what the line is? Normal line. And guess where your corner is? Yeah. It's so easy, but 
it's very seldom called. And, and yet it's easy to get back to normal at that point. Slide through. Pass to the center. Square through three. Reverse flutter wheel. Sweep a quarter. Slide through. Head, sides, face. And you're back home again. So it was an easy little sequence of that. So now you've got you've been working with them, and you and you you know that anytime you do a left-handed move, it's going to be tough. So heads go forward, just face your corner, so you don't have to wear out your feet. Have their left hand free, and I'm and I'm telling them that I'm that you're going to have your left hand free from whatever I did before that. Left touch a quarter, left. Good. Walk and dodge, girls. Walk, boys. Dodge. Wheel her around. Did I wreck the call? Guess what? I told him who was wheeling who around. And it was a wheel around. Say yes. yes. <laughs> Pass the ocean. <laughs> Everybody hinge. Walk and dodge. Girls, wheel the boy around. It's a reverse. <laughs> and so I've, I'm leading them into things that I want to use in, in, the, in, the, in other setups. Slide through. Pass to the center. Square through. Replace the, I mean, do the, on the third hand, slide through. Thank you. <laughs> so you're home. So, okay, now. Sides, wheel around. Separate. Go around one, make a line. So now we've, we've incorporated the wheel around that they didn't feel comfortable with at all. And we now we did the separate, but it felt nice for them at that point. We're out of, we're in, we're in a non-comfortable position right now. Really? We're in a non-comfortable position. Pass through. Wheel and deal. All the girls are in the middle. Now, at this point, this is where I like to help the squares. If two people have traded places and I don't have all the girls in the middle, I know all the girls should be in the middle. And I'll give, I say, all the girls are in the middle. And this square over here, finally, those two people trade. And now they're going to win again at the end of it. They're going to win without me having to say normal lines. They're going to win at that point. Girls, square three, three. Boys, pick any girl you want, courtesy Turner. had anybody courtesy turn the wrong girl <laughs> until now yes until now <laughs> thank you I, I, I appreciate it pass the ocean all eight circulate girls run out of their comfort zone tag the line right back into their comfort zone ferris wheel center slide through Should, and the boy are you home there yeah. you're home Good. okay now, so add on to this a little bit. I was sort of raised in a time, and the, and the person I studied, and this really tells how old I am, uh, we had reel-to-reel tapes. Anybody know what that is? You know what that is. And somebody give me a collection of Ed Gilmore. Ed Gil, if you've, if you've ever listened to him or know anything about his calling, it was stars and circles. And I incorporate a lot of that into my calls now on this. Heads, go forward, face your corner, and it's as if, it's as if you did a square through four, okay? So what hand's available? Right hand for everybody. Now, I'm going to help them with this. You're looking at your corner. Make a right hand star. Full turn around. When you're done, you'll be looking at your corner at the same place. Left touch a quarter. Why left? Thank you, I'm glad. Walk and dodge. Wheel her around. Flutter wheel. Very good. Slide through. Heads face. And, and also, that's a good ending. Heads face or sides face from that position where they're looking at their corner. It's a little trickier get out. All right, so how can we do this a little differently? So I do a whole lead-in on this on the stars. Stars in mainstream that we used in the old days are different than stars in any of our other ones. Why? No. Why are they different than the stars we use in our in, in other movements? <laughs> you stay in the same four zone? 
Okay, uh, uh, do this. Um, heads, left square through four. And that's hard. Only because they haven't done it. Make a, a left-hand star once around. When you're done, you'll be looking at your corner. And your right hand is the move that should be next. Agree? Now, what do you do when you make a star here? If I want you to make a right-hand star now, don't move the star. What do you do? You turn an eighth. The star is not square with the walls. On all of our moves that we have stars in, you count walls to turn it. All of the walls, you count stars. This is why... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose to see if you're listening. <laughs> but you t so to get into a star and back out of a star, you have to go back to where you started the star. Go back to facing. This is the end position right here. When it's done, that's the ending position, a couple. So I've done this with both hands now a couple times. Make a, a right-hand star, three quarters. When you're done, you're going to be looking at your corner. We're in lines. Reverse flutter wheel. And, and let me tell you, the dancers think that you've just changed the whole world. And you haven't done anything they can't do. But it's different. It's different enough that they can do it. Slide through. Heads face. And you're home again. All right. So what other ways can we get into those stars? Sides, flutter wheel, sweep a quarter, veer left, veer right, make a left-hand star, full turn around. When you're done, you're looking at your corner. Let me tell you, it, it doesn't take even brand new dancers can do this because they're still looking at their corner. I'm not going to take them out of that comfort zone. This is the comfort here now. They're doing something different, but I, they all know where to, who that person is. When they get good, we can even mix up the sexes. When you get good. What star did you just do? Left-hand star? Make a right-hand star. Halfway. When you're done, you're looking at your corner. Veer left. Boys circulate. Girls trade. Bend the line. Anybody know where we are? Out of sequence line. Out of sequence line. Right or left through? Now, I'm, and now I'm talking about extending it now, okay? I, I would probably get that far where they get comfortable with both left-hand and right-hand stars going halfway and veering, and then I can use that in a singing call. I can use that in a singing call. Three-quarter turns are harder, but if you only do it where they're facing their corner, comfort zone, comfort zone, and I know where they are. Um, now, if I was extended and I was, do, and I was still wanting to do some different things and everybody was still having a good time with this, do a right or left through. Make a right-hand star, three-quarters. You're looking at your corner. You're not looking at your corner. Well, I would have put it that way. All right. Veer left. Couples trade. Couples circulate a half. Bend in. But the idea would be that would be an extension you could do without, still without making boy with boy, girl with girl, or half sachet couples. You know, that's the far extension that you really wouldn't do in magical mainstream. We're talking about magic. We want to stay normal but do things differently, okay? So now, the same idea. Circle left. Now, and we sing for a while. This is a singing call. And we say, boys, don't do it. Boy, we say, boys, star right. What do you do? Alaman left your corner. Weave the ring. Keep circling, please. <laughs> Head, star right. Find your corner. Alaman left. And then weave the ring. Stop. Don't weave it. So I've taken, instead of saying boy star right, I've saying heads or sides. Little variation. And, and the first time you do it, unless you've been working with heads and sides all night, a lot of people don't know who they are. <laughs> but guess what? Even if they have a little trouble the first time, what's the next call? Alleman left your corner. We're back to comfort. They, even if they messed it up, we have five people in the middle. They'll find their corner, and they'll get right back in. And, and, and it, it's magical because we're back there again. 
It's magical. We, we forget about some of the, a lot of the calls that, that we don't use. Uh, um, as in this. Head ladies, do you know who you are? Chain to the left. Now, you know it's going to be, what really happens is sometimes we have all the girls with the side guys. The head girl chains by herself, which is impossible. Side girl, side boy gets talked into taking her no matter what. Head girl thinks she's wonderful because she didn't move or whatever it was, whoever was moving. So it's different, but it's, it's still there. And so I'd have to explain a little bit on this to, to, to make it a little bit better. Four ladies chain. Now we're really going to test your memory. Original, head ladies, point to the girl to your right. Chain to the right. Original, darling. And now as I see they still had some problems, I'm going to say, boys, what were you doing? They weren't helping at all, were you? Usually they say, well, we learned a long time ago never to try to help the ladies is what it is. <laughs> but but it's kind of kind of neat that you can do that kind of stuff. How many how many of you use diagonal stuff anymore? A few of you. Yeah, most of the older guys. <laughs> Heads, lead left. Now, let me tell you, the first time you call that, you're going to lose some of the floor till, till they get with you. And, and I'm going to tell you the little sequence. Veer right, couples trade, and bend the line. What are we in? Standard line. Just a circle to your home. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Don't have your partner. I, what, what did I do when I started all this? No, don't do it. <laughs> Pass the ocean. All eight circulate. Boys run. Ferris wheel. Thank you, Doug. Sweep a quarter in the middle. Yeah, it's easier for me. Now, I had an experience just a week ago, and, and I had worked up to the lead left and veer right and couples trade. And the square right in front of me did everything opposite. <laughs> And thought they were perfect. And guess what? It works. <laughs> when I called the next move, they were in the same position as everybody who did it right. And so, heads, lead left. Veer right. Couples trade. Bend the line. There, there, there's where they are. Circle home. Now, do it the opposite way. Heads, lead right. Veer left. <laughs> Couples trade. Bend the line. They're identical except that they're one quarter around the square. But as far as a singing call figure, they're going to swing their corner and get back home with everybody else, even if they're wrong. Okay? So, so it, it's kind of a little different thing. It, and it doesn't really work overflow. It works it with the body flow and the weaving motion. And that's what I try to do all the time is make it a weaving type thing. Uh, slide through. Now, how many use eight chains anymore unless you do an eight chain four? Do you just do eight chain four? Do you anything else other than eight chain four? Okay, good. Eight chain two and a half. Half of a pull by is a wave, and I have to help him. I have to help him at that point. It's so easy, so easy. And, and, and the setup I would do to get them normal would be have the heads with their couple, with their partners, um, in the middle, or uh, across the square, with their partners looking in. So I, I, we're on the, uh, what do you call that thing? Across the street or whatever. Yeah, and and then do the eight chain two and a half, and now I've got them in a uh, out of sequence wave at that point. It's girls trade. Did I have you do that? Thank you. Swing through. Boys run. Boys circulate. Girls trade. Ferris wheel. Sitters, slide through, pass through, partner trade. 
but the the idea was that an eight chain two and a half is is out of the ordinary, but it really was is nice. Now, if you call swing through after an eight chain two and a half, I'd like to kick you. Because that the idea was to get him into an ocean wave. So now you want to call something that isn't an ocean wave or facing couple move. Because we could have called eight chain two and swing through. Is that you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Now from a squared up position here, heads, star by the left. Look for your corner. Touch a quarter. What's the equivalent to that right there? Head squared through four and touch a quarter. But it's different. It's different at that point. Scoot back. Hinge. Step back. Side, heads face. I, I was just getting him home earlier at that point. Okay, so what did I just call? Okay. Heads, right hand star. And, and I wouldn't do it right away. Look for your corner. Get your left hand ready. Guess what I just did? Left touch a quarter. Boys run. They're not comfortable. Roll him away. Guess what? We're comfortable and we had some fun. The girls like rolling the boys away. We get They get tired of being rolled away. Yes? Slide through, maybe. Pass to the center. Square through. On the third hand, do a slide through. So we were doing it. Comments so far. Now, you can't just do all this without studying it. I know where they're at. I know what, I'm, what, what I have to do to lead them in to get them into it. But I guarantee that I could get beginners through some of that. Oh, I was going to do diagonals, wasn't I? That was the next thing. Okay. Um, so let's do that diagonals then. Heads, lead left. Veer right. Couples trade. Bend the line. Side ladies chain diagonally. Heads diagonally. Flutter wheel. We have a line. Pass through. Wheel and deal. Nice flow in there. And I really helped them to, to know who that girl is going to go. And I know that the first time I call it, usually we have three or four girls chaining on, on the diagonal. And it, because they, they're not ends. They didn't know, realize they were ends until it was too late. That's why I would help whoever the person is that's going to have to chain. So they were with their partner. I, I, and I use their names a lot. I use, use their couple number a lot from different positions at that point. Centers pass through. Now, you can't just call it unless you know where everybody is, though. Touch a quarter. Sides trade. I knew where they were, and I could help them if they were in trouble, but they didn't know. Now, they couldn't see anybody, so that probably would not have been the best call when I first did it. It should have been the centers that would have traded because they were already touching hands. Centers trade. All right. Boys run. Pass the ocean. Now, remember what you do. Remember what you do. Walk and dodge. Walkers trade. Doug, you were a walker. Well, why didn't you trade? <laughs> and, and I knew what was going to happen, so I'm saying, boys are in the middle. And I'm giving them time now to get the boys back in the middle at that point. And, and I'll say, can't you remember what you just did? Walk and dodge. Walkers trade. And the girls are in the middle. So I get back to that point. And, and, and we're back to something that feels normal. And, and it was different enough that they had to think who they were. But I knew where they were. I knew where they had to end up. And, and then if, if I was having a little problem with it, I'd say, all right, so if I was going to use the far people, let's do it again. Walk and dodge. Who are my heads and my sides? Okay. Uh, Doug's ahead. You're ahead. Okay. Uh, if I wanted them to do a, 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 like. And I'm, I'm not doing the walk and dodge thing, but if, if I know I'm having the ends trade like I did earlier when I didn't want to, when I shouldn't have, I'm going to say, you know who you are, say who you are so the other person knows who you are. Heads trade. I'm ahead. At that point, you could have done, you know, just as a helper thing. Okay. Swing through, right? Right. 
First thing I learned in, in, in every other country I travel in is how to say right and left. I use right a lot. On that one there, it would have been in Sweden. Hey, okay. and, and you just... <laughs> Uh uh-huh. All right, boy, a girl's run. Now, I'm going to step up. I still think this is magical because now we're doing counterclockwise flow. And you can do everything that you do and even the figures you do, you can relate them to this. Um, girls circulate. Boys do half a backup, girls half circulate, and everybody bend in. I'm just getting them home. You're home. <laughs> that was not part of the that was a part of the program <laughs> now what was I talking about before I did this oh yeah heads go forward and face your corner okay so we're going to do the old magic module swing through go girls circulate boys trade boys run bend the line there's a the magic module where are we zero line Okay, so let's do another magic module, get it back. Touch a quarter. Column circulate. Boys run. So there we're back to the box. Those are the two magic modules everybody uses. Guess what? You can use them left-handed. And it works the same. Left swing through. Half left, girls in the middle. Boys circulate. Girls trade. Girls run. Bend the line. Where are we? Guess what? It felt so different because we have done it the other way forever. And yet this is good. Left touch a quarter. Let's do the other magic module left-handed. Circulate. Girls run. And we're back to the corner again. Just that little change that, that, that makes everything work out good. On, on, and it will work on most all of your setups. The, I did one on the fly the other night because I thought in my mind this would work. And, and I got to a point. No, you shouldn't do it on the fly. Is what the, I said that. But, I, you know, the, the spin the top, or swing through, spin the top, uh, right or left through, flutter wheel, sweep a quarter. That works, right? So we should be able to do it the other way. Should be able to. That's what I thought in my mind. We should be able to. Left swing through. Start with your left hand. Spin the top. Girls move up. And I got to this point, and I knew that I was in trouble. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble, but what I said, thinking about it, I said, step ahead, partner trade, flutter wheel. No, flutter wheel. Why is that? Sweep a quarter, by the way. Why is that any different than the, fl- the reverse flutter wheel? <laughs> I didn't. I did a right and left through, though. I had to change from the right and left through. The flutter wheel made no difference. But I, you, I thought you were booing me because you can't do a flutter wheel from a part, after a partner trade. And that's what you did. I did. Slide through. Pass through. Partner trade. Flutter wheel. Go, girls. So that's awful. That's awful. That's awful. Girls, tell them what you thought. You're supposed to pre-plan this stuff out. I realized that. I re- and I said, I didn't pre-plan it. I should have, pre- I should have pre-planned that. But it, it, uh, let's do this. Uh, make a right-hand star. Three quarters. You should be looking at your corner now. Okay? Let's do it again, and I'll, I'll see if I can do it better. Left swing through. Start with your left. Spin the top. Move up, girls. Everybody, step ahead. Partner trade. Reverse flutter wheel. Sweep a quarter. And you're back. So we did it both ways. The, the only hiccup was I couldn't call right and left through from a left-handed wave at that point. Okay? All right. Are you adding anything to this, Tim? No, I'm enjoying it. Keep going. <laughs> how, how are we doing time I killed everything I was going to talk about. Okay, we got we still got 15 minutes at least. So, do you guys need a break? Okay, I'm glad you're here because I'd have to retrain another group. I got up. <laughs> Veer right. Bend the line. Roll away. 
half of a roll away. Boys, you're back to back in the middle. Everybody has a same sex partner. Same sex partner. They're right. They're right. <laughs> Couple circulate. Well, that would, that would, a new group wouldn't have done as good as you guys. Bend the line. Centers, half sachet. Everybody's back to normal. Not a roll away, darling. So, it depending, you know, that was still normal, and, and it was a little bit fun, and it was out of their, their league. And you know how many squares do exactly what you guys did? I'm saying, you got a same-sex partner, everybody's hugging their opposite. Say, and I'll say, same-sex partner, you got a same-sex partner, everybody's looking around. Where? <laughs> Where? Where? Where is that? So let's make it smooth this time. Right or left through. Roll away. And you can't say once and a half. Half a roll away. Veer right. Body flow wise, it would work really good. It works really good. Center's trade. Now, again, we're partly out of our comfort zone, but it's kind of magical to do this. Couple circulate. Boys trade. <laughs> Bend the line. All right. Pass through. So if you're, if you're stretching, your, and, and you got to look at, you can't do all of these one night, and, and you got to pick one and sort of do it. So one, another one that I would work on would be a left tag the line is what I like to work with, and, and depending on, on, on everybody. And it, so I'd, I'd make sure I was doing tag the lines all night long. I want you to think left shoulders, left, tag the line, left, and I'll have to say left three times because they won't do it after that because they heard the left up out there and they think I'm just meaning left shoulders, left, 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 all right, couple circulate. Now, there's arguments both ways right here. Once you get them doing left shoulder or left tag the lines, I always make sure the centers have left hands. Why? If we do a tag the line from here, what do you have to do? They have to back up. Now, technically, by definition, you can do either way. I say it's if you call it left after you've been doing some left, this is the smoothest way to do it. Left, tag the line. After that, doesn't matter. In. Because they know in and out, so they can do all that. <laughs> Pass through. Left half tag. Center's trade. Same sex is trade. Center's trade. Boys trade. Girls lead. Flutter wheel. <laughs> now, what was magical about that? <laughs> Besides Andy, yes. The magical part was the girls were standing there by themselves while the boys were trading. They couldn't even see who they were going to pick up. And, and, and I've had callers say, well, the boys are moving. Why didn't you wait and let the boys lead with a reverse flutter wheel? And that, you could do that. But the girls were just there doing nothing. And, so, and, and, and Andy did the, what a lot of dancers would have done at that point. Thank you, Andy. It was well played, well played. So what was that I did? Oh, yeah, I know what it was. What was it we were talking about again? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, boys on the diagonal, point at each other, pass through. Right shoulders. Boys trade, flutter wheel, go girls. So you can do it. You can also do it the other way. Girls on the diagonal left pass through. I'm just putting them in the setup. You got to know where the setup is. Girls trade reverse flutter wheel. Go boys. So it, it, again, again, where when both of those are done, they're back in normal couples. And, and so you know, we we sometimes when we want to do to to do different things, we get a we get so wild with the positioning and we don't know where everybody is and and you got to know where they are 
you've got to know the comfort zone. And, and the comfort zone is normal for mainstream. You know it's normal for mainstream. So you you got to do that. you got to make them work it. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, slide three. Good. Original heads, face. Circle right a quarter, everybody. Everybody. Yes, everybody. Okay, so... When we, I'm going to go back to the stars for a minute because we don't use this enough either. Heads, lead right. Anything that we did in the stars, you can do by circling. Anything that we did in the stars, you can do by circling. Circle left. Three quarters. We have a line. Reverse flutter wheel. Sweep a quarter. Reverse circle four. Three quarters. Body flow to the right, same way you're going. Lines, flutter wheel, go girls. And again, you know there's going to be hiccups because it's something new. It's like when you first time you ever tell somebody to do a left touch a quarter. Yes, Randy. I don't think I did that. One side circled the wrong way. And I want to, I want to, I want to point out that the people farthest from me do a right and a left through. And because you were not correct. <laughs> it, <laughs> now it's an argument as to who really was wrong at that point. <laughs> right or left through. So can we circle four from here? Circle four, three quarters. Veer left. Tag the line. Out, bend the line, pass through, wheel and deal. We got those nice normal people in the middle. Square through three. Left pass through, trade by, right shoulders. Actually, that's the way it should be done, all on 18 hands. But we don't do that. Touch a quarter. Centers trade. Good. Boys trade. Tag the line. How many times do you call tag the line from in-facing people? Out. Bend the line. Guess what? We're back to our comfort zone again at this point. So uh, do this. Side ladies, chain diagonally. <laughs> Circle to your home, everybody. Uh, oh. Okay, wait a minute. Other people. Who are you? Heads. Heads do a re diagonal reverse flutter wheel. Pass through, wheel and deal. Centers only, boys walk, girls dodge. Only those who can, Alamen left. Everybody, you're home. So, same idea. You know, my mind is, is sometimes you would wonder what I think of, but in my mind, there's a, I have equivalents that don't, really aren't equivalents, but they are. They are, they are not equivalents for walls, but they are equivalents for position on the floor. I'm going to show you one. Um, so, might do this. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Alum and left. Promenade. Don't stop. Heads, wheel around. Right or left through. Good. Flutter wheel. Sweep a quarter. Now, if you haven't been doing split circulates, you don't want to do this one. Touch a quarter. Split circulate. Split circulate again. Only the centers. Alamen left each other. Everybody, look for your partner. Right or left grand. That was an equivalent to a square through three. <laughs> Using a split circulate twice from that position after the touch a quarter. But it's not actually the equivalent because an equivalent puts you facing a different wall. But the split circulate puts you in the same spot. A quarter out. And because their left hands were available in the middle, I knew that it had to be their corner. Because if I would have done the, the call, right or left through, flutter wheel, sweep a quarter, square through three, same thing. Same thing. In my mind, I know that. And I know that the problem point, there was really no problem point. That's a good one to get people listening to you. Because you say, centers with each other, alum and left. Everybody, look for your partner. And the others are standing around, you know, right or left grand. Well, we're back in again. We know how to do that. And we're happy again. Magical. Magical. Uh, what else have I got? Any, so anyway, the, the, the thing that, that, that I want you to understand is you can't do all of this and that you can't do it on the fly. 
and that you should study what what the right what the hard spots are going to be, what the easy spots where you have to help the people. And they're going to be happy. They're going to be happy when they find their corner and they do a right and left granny because they, they, they know they did it and they made it. Even if they can't find their corner, I mean, even if, if they can't find their corner, they're not going to be happy. They're not going to be happy. So they always got to have them near their corner to keep them happy if you're going to do something hard. Anything else to add, Tim? Uh, no. Uh, I think. Are you done? Nice hand for the square. Nice hand for the square. Thank you. Ex- except Doug. Except Doug, yeah. And while you're at it, you must as well give a nice hand to Jerry. That was great material. It's stuff. I need to get a count. Did you count the room yet? I did, yeah. I had lots, I had lots of time to count. <laughs> so uh, we've uh, got uh, about, yeah, about, about five, five minutes, minutes for questions. For questions, any? comments? No, you, come up here, you have to come you up here and use the mic. Or we'll bring the mic to you. Yeah, I got to talk to the mic. Say your name. Say your name. Age and Thomas Selner from Maryland. I'm 68, okay? <laughs> um, this also, everything they did works at first-nighters if you think really simple. For instance, <clears throat> just a one instance, have the heads face your partner and back away and join the side to make a line eight to the middle and back. They're holding their corner, their partner's right there, and if you told them to go face their partner and bow and face the corner, they can do this the first night. The corner's beside them. Bow to your corner. Bow to your partner. Run home and swing your partner. And at a very simple idea, you've done And this is the first night or the second tip on the floor, you can do this. And you can do a lot of the same things he did, but very, very simple. That's a very simple example. Yeah, Randy Doherty. Um, I like what Jerry has presented today. It's been... Uh, very well done. One little sequence that I like to do, if you're going to be playing with your, your left tags or left half tags, I like to have the surprise get out, like you say, and everyone making it. From a corner line, if everyone does a pass through and a wheel and deal, and then you say girls zoom, and then have the, if you're calling plus, you have the center spread and the others crowd in or put the trailers this is in. This magic mainstream. Yeah, so let's say the trailer's in. Is that legal for you? No, that's not a call. Why isn't that legal? That's magical. <laughs> it's not proper. <laughs> yeah, okay. Head slide apart and the side squeeze in. How's that? Anyway, you got a boy, boy, girl, girl line. Pass through and a left half tag to an Alaman left. And uh, it's a nice little memory get out. And it's really sharp. I have a whole sequence on dope pass O's too from, from movements on the floor uh, that I never got to eat today. Never thought of it. Uh, because... We tend to only use it from a squared up position, but there is all kinds of positions you can use it from, and and the endings are proper. No. So the constant message I get that that everybody has said, even people who Tom and and Randy just said the same thing, you don't do any of this stuff unless you you already know what the what the hard part is. Uh, what the dancers are going to find difficult. And the other thing that uh, I wanted to reiterate is Jerry talked a lot about helping people, the helping words. You can't help them if you don't already know how to help them. So you can't let them wander and then try to help them. You have to know that they're going to wander, and then the helping words are the ones that are important. So that's all my two cents. And build and build and build. Right. And use judgment. You You may not... Use judgment. You may not get very far with it. So, some nights, uh, my star sequences don't work worth beans. I just get out of it in a hurry and go to something else. <laughs> don't pass <out. laughs> Any other questions? Thank you very much for coming in here and sharing this hour with us. Appreciate it. Thank you.